Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. How? So have you tried to reach out to Sam, fill out everything, and you have been waiting on your incident report for a minute? Well, you are not alone. I've gotten so many people that have contacted us, our clients, students, people that actually watch our YouTube channel, visit our website, that are just trying to figure out what do you do when you continually get this report and nothing's moving forward. So let's talk about that. In this video, I'm going to talk about what you should do, what to expect, and how to overcome that incident report that you filled out while you're waiting on your sams.gov. You ready? Let's go. So, not too long ago, as a matter of fact, on April 4th, 2022, they switched over where SAMS does everything, the validation. What does the validation mean? So the validation means that they are trying to validate that your business is a legal corporation or that it is actually registered with your state and the legal name and the address all match. That's what the validation is. Now, before we were doing it with DUNS, and I don't know if any of you have gotten your DUNS number, but you would have to wait the 24 to 48 hours, and that's exactly what DUNS and Bradstreet was doing. They were validating it. You then had to wait another 48 hours before you could go on to SAMS.gov because that was the time it would take for them to populate everything they got from DUNS. Well, now everything is done through SAMS.gov, the validation. And when you're waiting, let's say you go in, you create your account, you go back in after you, you know, you clicked onto the link because you have to go to login.gov, create an account. And then once you've created your account, you have 24 hours to click the link that they've sent to the email that you use to actually create your login.gov. Now, for those of you that want really detailed information on that, visit my actual video that talks about the new changes to SAMS and it walks you step by step and I even share my screen with you. So that way you know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those of you that have watched the video and you know how to actually create your account in login.gov, which then goes to SAM.gov, then you may be stuck at the part of the validation. I've had individuals that have been waiting a week or so. So what can you do to speed the process along. Well, the first thing you can do is make sure that you go to your Secretary of State, like I visited one today, Secretary of State of Georgia, and I wanted to make sure that all the I's and T's were crossed. So then you wanna to check to make sure that the legal state is exactly what you're putting when you're registering. If it says comma LLC, then put comma LLC. If it just says LLC, then just put LLC. If it says unit number, U-N-I-T, and then the pound sign, do not write out unit and then N-U-M-B-E-R. It's really, really particular with exactly matching how you registered with your Secretary of State. That's the way it has to be within SAMS. So if there's any deviation, it's gonna come up and say, cannot find, match, and then that's when they ask for that, um, I think it's an FSD um, uh, incident report. So what happens then? Well, they're then trying to go back and make sure that these are the correct, this is the correct information, that the name, the legal name is correct and you've already verified that. So it's something you can do in advance when you are getting ready to make that report because it said start over, you can hit start over, or it says do the incident report. So if you do the incident report, you want to make sure that you have a copy of your LLC to upload or however you register your business. If you've registered as a sole proprietor, if you've registered as an LLC, whatever you did to register with your state, that's what you need to use to upload. And you can simply go to choose a file. It should be already downloaded. You can simply go to the Secretary of State, download it, and then it will... You can upload it to the incident and then it'll ask you for a brief, a brief description. You could say something like, this is the actual document that will validate the fact that this is my business. So what they're looking for again is the legal business name, the physical address, 
and they're looking for the date of the incorporation or the date that you actually register your business with the state. Those three things are looking for, period. Now, what can you do to speed along? I've already given you one thing. The other thing is after about a week, I would check back to see whether it says pending assigned ID. If it says that, that means that the validation process has occurred and they're looking to now assign you a UEI, which used to be the DUNS number. So it's called UEI, which is Unique Entity Identifier. If you do not see that and you have been waiting over a week, there is a number that I will put in the description where you can call the help desk and ask them. Now make sure you have that incident report so that way you can give them your information. I probably would call around eight in the morning. They usually are there from I think like seven or eight, they're usually there 12 hours, so like seven, eight Eastern time to seven or eight in the evening. So it's like a 12 hour time frame. but I'm quite sure that they are inundated with a lot of phone calls because I, like I said, I've got a lot of clients and students that have said they have been waiting for over a week Someone else waited 17 days. And unfortunately, this process used to take 24 to 48 hours, but it's taking longer. So now you know exactly what you can do. Do your due diligence, go and download the information, and then upload it, and then write a little statement saying this should clarify or help validate. Make sure everything matches. It may sound very incidental, but make sure the LLC, there's no comma. If it's all in caps on your Secretary of State, make sure it's all in caps on SAMS. Whatever way you've registered your business with your Secretary of State, that is exactly the way it's going to look and search for that company. If it can't find a match, it could be there. It may not, but that's when you're going to upload it and help them out. Now, if you do not have a copy, then simply call your Secretary of State and ask them. Sometimes you may have to pay for it. Or not. I know a lot of states, it's free. But you do want to download it, upload it, and then um, upload it to your SAMS incident report, and that should cut down the time. I would give it a week. If after a week, anywhere between 7 to 10 days, I know it sounds like a long time, you have not received anything, by all means, call the number that I am going to put in the description. And just to clarify... You do not have to just wait, wait, wait. You can be proactive and start looking for bids in your state and in your local area. SAMS is federal. So sign up for some of those local and state bid platforms. Everyone has an e-marketplace, e-marketplace Florida, e-marketplace Tennessee. These are your free state procurement portals where they have bids just like they're found on sam.gov but these are specifically state and local bids and these you can sign up as long as your company is registered in that state you absolutely would be able to bid on bids that are locally and that are local bids in states now i want to make sure that i give you guys a new bid it is in north carolina raleigh north carolina it is a mandatory walkthrough on june the 16th and it is cleaning the carter Finley Stadium. So for all of you guys that are my, you know, my fam, my friends uh, or my family that are on, the, on this actual uh, YouTube channel, my members, clients, people that are just really ready to learn, then definitely check out that bid. I'm going to have it on our Facebook. So click the Facebook and also I'm going to have it on the website. So you can go to either one of those. Both of those will be in the description. Now, for those of you that do not realize that this is going to be one of the biggest times for winning government bids, then guess what you need to do? You need to simply come to the free workshop. I'm going to show you everything you need to do in great detail in a short period of time because I got it down pat. And you can ask as many questions as you like, and I guarantee you that I'll probably get you off of there in between 40 and 45 minutes. And in that time, you'll be taking plenty of notes, writing everything you need so that you can do no bids what you can do to find a bid, register, and all of that. Now, between June and September are one of the biggest times for people to win bids because we're getting close to the end of the government fiscal year, which is September 30th. They have a lot of money they need to give away. And for those of you that are looking at the gas prices and you're looking at the food prices and there's an upcoming recession and then no, it's not, and all of that, guess what? Government can 
produce money, the drop of a dime. They can print it and print it and print it. So you do not have to worry about them when it comes to not needing our services, facility support services, if there is a recession. You are pretty much recession proof because if they've signed a contract with you for three or four years, or if they need your services, they're gonna continue on. Whereas private industry, maybe not. But make sure you click the link in the description I look forward to seeing you there. Space is limited. It's going to be this Wednesday. Bring your pen, your paper, and get ready to implement it on the spot. Until the next video, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.